Welcome to session 7. Today we are going to learn two new options repeat and repeat inside a repeat. So let's quickly see what are the options we are going to how these activities will look like once we add these options. So now when I click on the green flag to play you see that it's repeating the ball is continuously bouncing and when you see the code also the the code which we have dragged and drop so what is doing is it's moving the the character two steps right two steps left jumping okay and this number 5 means that this entire all these three options what you're seeing right left and jump perform it five times right so again the same is for soccer so what the soccer one says is that you hop the ball five steps up that is five scratch steps up how many times repeat ten times so if you see this repeat is a new block which is there in the orange section the control section the repeat block so let's see how this activity works we we'll click on the new project we will delete the cat character we select the background like I'll select an empty room background insert the character now just try and understand now if I take the green flag and if I make it move two steps on the right and then I make it work two steps on the left so this is how it will look like right now if I wanted to repeat this five times what you would have done is you would have inserted this five times so that's the second time then you would have done this third time and so on but imagine if you need to do this 100 times right or 20 times you won't have space left to go from left to right so that's why we have an option which is called as repeat if I go on the orange block so let's add a hop here once so I'll add a hop also so that's a hop and remember 2 is 2 scratch levels up so it's it's the, the size of the grid we'll see the grid uh, activity next week we we'll learn some basics on grid and uh, in the next lesson about the grid and changing the characters colors combinations and all so out here if you see you go on the orange block you see an option like in the last class you had seen speed now you've got an option as repeat now what you're going to do is you're going to put this repeat on top of all three of them this way uh, it's got so you need to put this together and insert it inside and then insert it here so and if you see this number four here now if I give it as five so what this means is this entire actions like a right arrow two steps left arrow two steps and jump two steps up will repeat five times so let's play and see that's one that's two three four and five got it so just to see now how the football works let's click on play and we will insert the football and we will make the football hop so green flag first hop probably I'll give hop as five steps now because it's a ball right uh, and uh, then I will give this part inside 
repeat. So it just gets stuck like a magnet. So you need to make sure you're doing it properly. And if I do it five times now, and I play it, you see, that's how both the options repeat. Now, what we could do is because the the other character is moving left, right, and jumping, so we could increase the the repeat option for the football like ten times, so that when they work, when they when I play them, both of them keep moving together for equal amount of time. So, so that's how you use repeat. Now let's see a second example. Now the second example might be a little bit more trickier, but what it does is it explains you how do you use repeat inside a repeat option. It can be tricky for small children, but you need to explain them that if you want to create a animation like this, like a snake's animation, what we have created here, I click on play. So the snake moves left and right, left and right, four times. It then increases the size, jumps, then again moves left, right, left, right, four times. Increases size and jumps. So if you carefully see this code, you'll see there are two loops here. One is this loop, one is the second one, right? So what was happening here is, it's moving four times left and right, then it moves, increases the size, then hops, then it repeats the second time. So left and right, repeat four times, increase the size, and hop. It's doing it twice. So let's see, let's see how it works so that you understand. So I click on the new project, I delete the cat character, I select the background, And I insert the snake. I get it like at this position. Now first step we will do is we'll insert the green flag. We'll make it move five times left, right five times left. This is how it will look like. So that's five steps right and five steps left. Sorry, that's what I meant. Now if you want to repeat this five times, what you'll do is, you'll go on the orange block, you'll take the loop, and you'll insert it like this. So that's done. Suppose I want to do this three times. That's one, two, three. Now I want to do is, I want to increase the size of the snake by like three sizes, and I want it to jump. So I go on the motion, I make it jump, and but I want to do this twice. So right now, let's me do. I want to do this three, three times or four times. So right now, let's see if I play. So four times, right, left, two, three. Increases the size and then jumps. Right. So what I'll do now is I will put a fourth. I'll put one more loop on inside. this entire code. So now when you see, and let me do this five times. Now if you see, five steps right, five steps left, I repeat it three times, increase the size by three, hop, repeat. Again it goes back, this does it five times. Let's see. So that's We'll see the entire step happening. So now that's second step. The second loop. Now that begins the third loop. Third repeat you could say. And that begins the fourth one. If you see the size of the snake is keeping on increasing. And the last one. So I hope it was clear for you.
probably the best way to work on this would be is do a basic uh, you know kind of a, a, a loop a repeat option first and then explain children how a repeat inside another repeat works so with small examples uh, gradually they'll understand that how things work so that was my seventh session uh, if you see we've learned a new option repeat which is there in the orange block we've already done the set speed option in the last class so we are coming very close to finishing quite a lot of options and uh, what the children need to do is experiment and you know work around with some more examples at their end practice how repeat works it's a very important part so thank you for watching make sure you click on the bell icon right below the video to get notifications